carefully here, but if this bill were to pass, would this uh, prohibit the sale of the Bible that teaches these things about sexual morality? At, this includes efforts to change behaviors. I mean, that is the role of parents to guide their children's behaviors. If they are not allowed to guide their children's behaviors with uh, their religious beliefs, then what what rights do parents even have in the state of California? But who is behind this? Can't read. And by the way, uh, as this bill is written, uh, it would be banning the Bible. Can't read. And by the way, uh, as this bill is written, uh, it would be banning the Bible. So tell us more about this bill. I mean, it sounds like a stretch even for California, a bill attacking free speech and freedom of religion. There's eight homosexual legislators, Democrats, all of them, who are sponsoring this bill. And AB 2943 would start by saying, okay, nobody can get counseling to overcome same-sex desires, okay? So no help. See, where students have decided to throw the Bible out of their dorms. So one of Britain's largest hotel chains actually decided to remove all of its Bibles from its hotel rooms in order not to discriminate any religion at all. Well, the words Jesus and Christ have been banned as offensive uh, by Marks and Spencers on its uh, online gift messaging. And, and we are, by essentially metaphysical constitution, a Christian nation. Now, if we don't want to be a Christian nation anymore, then that is going to be a very serious change in uh, our country and in, it's going to mark a, a significant transition in the history. Same law also prompted a court in Nantes to ban Christmas nativity scenes from public places last year. Well, EU authorities also point at growing hostility and violence towards Christians in recent years that largely passes unnoticed by governments. This will be done in California and across our nation. I'd be privileged. Let's pray. Father God, in the strong name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, we pray to you by the blood of the Lamb. And first of all, Lord, we commit ourselves to vote wisely and vote according to your scripture, not vote according to any particular party, but according to your moral values and your word. Second, we pray for legislators, not only in California, but in other states of the United States, that they will be convicted by you to go against this bad agenda and be for true religious freedom and true free speech to go against the perversity agenda which is harming people and causing a lot of diseases and tyranny against uh, people of faith. Lord God, we commit ourselves to fight for you and to shine your light and not be afraid of those who would oppose us. We need to be as strong as the Christians of the first and second centuries who would be willing to be tortured and die for the name of Jesus. We are suffering near opposition. So Lord, give us the that we would do what's right in your sight, even when people disagree with us. Amen.